The remainder of this record is devoted to a reconstruction of a broadcast originally heard over the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation in January 1954. It is an informal lecture recital with a group of Schubert leader sung by Nicholas Goldschmidt to his own accompaniment. Emmy Heim's commentary was recorded earlier at her bedside. Particular attention is drawn to her inclusion of Der Wegweiser, the signpost, with its lines, A road must I follow where no traveler e'er turns back. We are going to call our Schubert program tonight Expression in Sound. And the reason for that title is that I hear people say songs in a language I don't understand don't mean anything to me. Are you sure? You know sounds, pure sounds, can convey very much to you. The lead composer, in giving his melodies and harmonies to the words, expresses something behind, beyond words, enhances them. It's our task, the singer's task, to feel the meaning and mystery of the language so strongly that we are able to convey it or translate it to you through the color of our voices. And that is what we are going to try tonight. To begin with, Nicholas Goldschmidt has chosen three lieder out of the cycle Die Schöne Müllerin, the Miller's Beautiful Daughter, which is a cycle of 20 delightful lieder. By the way, it was the first love story ever written in lead form. The story tells you about a young miller wandering away from home to seek new adventures. He follows his book. He asks, whither? Wohin? And that is the title of our song. I won't give you any other translation. Listen, please, to the music. Schubert creates in a few introductory bars the perfect background for each lead. Unmistakable is the walking rhythm he gives to the accompaniment in the left hand. Equally unmistakable, the glittering, dancing sound of the brook the miller follows. While the story goes on, you will hear all kinds of different shades in sound. A heavy, jubilant top note near the end, before the marching and the singing slowly seems to disappear around the bend of the stream. It's gone. Where? Ich hört ein Bächlein rauschen, wohl auf den Felsen quell. Immer zum Tale rauschen, so frisch und wunderhell. Ich weiß nicht, wie wir wurde, nicht wer den Ort mir gab. Ich musste auch hinunter mit meinem Wanderstab. Ich musste auch hinunter mit meinem Wanderstab. Hinunter und immer weiter und immer dem Bach entlang. Und immer frischer Rauschen und immer heller der Bach. Und immer frischer Rauschen und immer heller der Bach. Sie sagten meine Straße, wo Bächlein sprich wohin, wohin sprich wohin. Du hast mit deinem Rauschen mir ganz berauscht in Sie. Du hast mit deinem Rauschen mir ganz berauscht in Sinn. Was sag ich denn vom Rauschen? Das kann kein Rauschen sein. Wir singen wohl die Lieder tief unter ihren Reihen. Wir singen wohl die Lieder tief unter ihren Reihen. Lass singen, Gesell, lass rauschen und wandre fröhlich nach. Es geht ja müden Räder in jedem klaren Bach. Es geht ja müden Räder in jedem klaren Bach. Lass singen, Gesell, lass rauschen und wandre fröhlich nach. Fröhlich nach, fröhlich nach. 
The next lead is number five out of the cycle. While following the brook, the young man comes to another mill where he meets the miller's beautiful daughter and of course falls in love with her. The title of that lead is Der Neugierige, the curious one, or inquisitive one. You will hear a lovely legato melody sung hesitantly, pensively, different tempo, different mood and color. He's anxious to get an answer, that curious one. Ich frage keine Blume, ich frage keinen Stern, die können mir alle nicht sagen, was ich erfüllt so gern. Ich bin auch kein Gärtner, die Sterne stehen zu hoch. Mein Bächlein will ich fragen, ob mich mein Herz Number 11 is a lead of pure happiness, no mistake. The rhythm, harmonies, melodies are expressions of pure joy. The title of that lead is Mine, She is Mine. <laughs> Bächlein, 
lacht ein Rauschen sein, Frieda stellt euer Brauten ein, all ihr muntern Waldbickelein, groß und klein, endet eure Melodein, endet eure Melodein. Du musst ihn hein, aus und ein, Schale heut ein Reim allein. Du musst ihn hein, aus und ein, Schale heut ein Reim allein. Die geliebte Bühlerin ist mein, ist mein. Die geliebte Bühlerin ist mein, ist mein. Mein, mein. Frühling sind das alle deine Blümelein. Sonne, hast du keinen helleren Schein. Ach, so muss ich ganz allein mit dem Silken Worte mal unverstanden in der weiten Schöpfung sein. Verstanden in der weiten Schöpfung sein. Bächlein, lacht ein Rauschen sein, Frieder stellt ein Brauten ein, all ihr Mund und Waldbickelein, groß und klein, endet eure Melodein, endet eure Melodein. Du hust ihn hein, aus und ein, Schale heut ein Reim allein. Du hust ihn hein, aus und ein, Schale heut ein Reim allein. Die geliebte Müllerin ist mein, ist mein. Die geliebte Müllerin ist mein, ist mein. We shall show you how Schubert's genius conjures up before our ears and eyes the perfect picture and atmosphere of a quiet rapture. The title is The Youth at the Spring. You hear the whispering of the trees, the murmuring of the water. You almost smell the fragrant air. The youth sitting at the spring, calling the name of his beloved one. Louise, and again, longingly, Louise. <laughs> And now we shall hear three leader out of the tragic cycle, Die Winterreise, The Winter Journey. Disappointment, anger, grief, deepest sorrow, resignation, each feeling perfectly expressed. 
to music. Words turned into sound. The introductory bars of the first lead suggest wandering tempo too, but how different from the gay and happy wandering of the young Miller. This man seems to be in a hurry, almost in flight. The title is Gute Nacht, Good Night. Three verses in minor key suggesting anger, darkness. In the fourth verse, he softly and tenderly sings the same melody in major key. Good night, probably to her whom he still loves. <laughs>
the next song grips us, holds us from the very first bar to the very last one through the rigidness and monotony of its tempo. The Wegweiser, signpost. No translation is necessary. You can see the signpost clearly standing before your eyes and you have to follow its direction. You cannot escape. You cannot turn. Schubert's tempo does not allow it. The singer's voice is full of despair, fighting desperately. The monotony of that one repeated note drives him on, on until the end. No turning back. Straße muss ich 
And the last lead Nicholas goes, Nicholas is going to sing, is the most tragic of all the 24 songs of the cycle. You heard a bird in there, the Lionel. Listen to the cold and weary little melodies in tune Cold and almost colorless is the sound of the singer's voice, expressing utter hopelessness. The last bar is an outcry of almost shrill sounding cynicism. The lion, the herd of the <laughs> misunderstand us singers. We are convinced that words, melody, and harmonies are equally important in every good lead. But with tonight's program, we wanted to show you through the different expressions in the voice that you can enjoy the beauty of Schubert's leader even without understanding the meaning of each word. I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> 